you want a brew? Uh, no, I think we're all right, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, we were just passing, so we thought we'd pop in and see how he is this morning. Oh, no change. How are you doing? Oh, you know, same as yesterday. Not sleeping, stressed out. We were wondering whether we could take him out for a bit, you know, give you a bit of rest. No. No, that's not a good idea. A bit of fresh air, it might do him the world of good. And what if he gets a cold or an infection? That'll just set him off again. You can't keep him locked up in here all the time. I'm not keeping him locked up. I'm looking after him. I don't want to take any risks. OK, fine. Well, you know, another time, maybe. Right, good, thank you. Actually, Leanne, I don't think it is fine. Well, actually, I don't want you coming in here and telling me what to do. That's not what I'm doing. I'm a mum as well. I understand why you want to protect your son. Yeah, exactly. My son. Steve's his dad. Look, Trace, we don't want to row. I'm not rowing, Steve. I'm stating facts. Steve is as worried as you are. He's not sleeping either. And like you, he wants what's best for Oliver. But who's to say that a little trip to the park or the city farm won't do him the world the of good? The city farm? Are you insane? Think of all the germs. He loves those animals. He knows all the noises and he's got little names for them, like Mr Pig. He's, he, he's a pig. And then there's Arnold. Oh, I don't know. Look, we'll take all the necessary precautions. We'll take the hand gel, antibacterial wipes, the works. Nothing bad is going to happen, Leanne, except for a little lad gets to have a normal day with his dad. All right, fine. I suppose a few hours won't hurt, will it? And I've packed him a jumper as well, just in case he gets cold. OK. But don't let him overheat, because you don't want him having another convulsion. OK. And make sure you don't give him any food, because you know he can't eat. I wouldn't do that. I'm not stupid. Yeah, I know, Steve, but I know what you're like when there's an ice cream van around. Fair point. And, well, if he sees an ice cream van, he's going to want an ice cream, isn't he? And he won't understand that he can't have one. And Nobody then he's is having any ice cream. Nobody. We know that Oliver's ill and we're going to look after him. Sorry, I'm, I'm just worrying, that's all. I know we are, but he's going to be fine. This is the first time I've been without him since he's been ill. Well, come with us, then. Yeah, Amy's coming. And Emma, I think. Uh, oh, uh, I, no, it wouldn't be right. It's family day out, isn't it? Oh, Leanne. As much as I've wanted to deny it over the years, you are family. Bring Nick. Bring Simon. Are you sure? Yeah, of course we are. Yeah, all right, then. Yeah, I'll, I'll come. I'd like that. I just can't be stopped. 